Here you'll learn how to draw tangent lines to functions, which is a key step in understanding derivatives. If you're ready to learn about tangent lines, then click here. And if you already know about them, then try out this question. Great, but before we get to tangent lines, let's make sure you know about slope. What's the slope of the straight line that passes between these two points? If you'd like to review slope instead, then click down here. Excellent. Now let's move on to tangent lines. Here's a function, and let's pick any point on the function, like this point over here. Even though this function is curved and is not a straight line, you can still think of the function as having a slope at this point. Let's draw in a few lines that go through this point. Which of these lines would you say has the same slope as the function at this point? Another way to think about this is that if you zoomed in really, really far into this function at this point, which line would the function look like? Click here if you'd like to zoom in. Exactly, so this line has the same slope as the curve at this point. This line is an example of a tangent line, and we would say that this line is tangent to this function at this point. It's the same word tangent like the trig function, but here Tangent means that this line touches the function at a point and has the same slope as the function. Let's take another look at that function from the beginning. Which of these lines are tangent lines for this function? Check all that apply. Here's an interactive in which you can draw your own function and then find the tangent lines for all the points on the curve. Press this button down here to edit your function and drag the curve around to make any function you want. Press the button again and click anywhere on the function to see the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line is shown up here. Notice that over here the tangent line has a negative slope. Over here it's positive, but it's negative again over here. What can you say about a function at places where the tangent line has a negative slope? Right, when the function is increasing the tangent line has a positive slope and when the function is decreasing, the tangent line has a negative slope. Find a place where the tangent line has a slope of zero. Once you have a tangent line with slope zero, click the Submit button over here. So how would you describe the places on this function where the tangent line has a slope of zero? Exactly. At local maxima and local minima of continuous functions, like this one here, the tangent line has a slope of zero. It's time to learn what derivatives are and how to draw them. But first, let's make sure you remember what tangent lines are. Which of these four lines here are tangent lines? If you'd like to review tangent lines instead, then just click down here. Nicely done. This line here is tangent to the curve at this point over here and this line is tangent at this point. Let's find the slope of this first tangent line over here. Here are tick marks for this graph, and this line goes through this point over here, minus 7, 0, and this point up here, minus 4, 2.8. So what's the slope of this tangent line? Right, the slope of this blue tangent line is about 0 0.93. Next, Let's look at the orange tangent line. It goes through this point over here, minus 3, comma, minus 0 0.7, and this point, 0, comma, minus 2.4. So what's the slope of this tangent line? Right, this line has a negative slope, and it's approximately minus 0 0.57. What we're going to do next is make a second graph down here and we'll be graphing the slopes of the tangent lines from the top graph. For example, the tangent line for this x-coordinate over here has a slope of 0 0.93. So for this same x-coordinate on the bottom graph, let's plot a point with a y-coordinate of 0 0.93. And let's do the same thing for this point. Its tangent line has a slope of minus 0 0.57, so at this x-coordinate in the bottom graph, Let's plot a point with a y-coordinate of minus 0 0.57. If we did this for all the points in the top graph, plotting the slopes of their tangent lines, which of these curves would we get? If you're not sure, click here, and we'll work our way through this question. 
OK, let's figure out which of these curves down here is a graph of the slopes of the tangent lines for this graph up here. First, at which locations in this top graph does the tangent line have a slope of 0? Precisely, at these three locations, which are all local maxima or minima, the tangent lines have a slope of 0. So that means on the graph down here, for these same x-coordinates, the y-coordinates should be 0. Next, in which regions do the tangent lines have positive slopes? Exactly, in these two regions, where the function is increasing, the tangent lines have positive slopes. And in these two regions, where the function is decreasing, the tangent lines have negative slopes. So we figured out that the graph of the slopes of the tangent lines should be 0 at these three x-coordinates, the graph should be positive in these two regions, and negative in these two regions. So which of these three curves correctly graphs the slopes of the tangent lines? Absolutely right, it's the yellow curve. Sure enough, this graph is 0 at these three x-coordinates, positive in these two regions, and negative in these two regions. This is a graph of the slopes of the tangent lines for the top graph. This graph on the bottom has a special name. If the top graph is the function f of x, then the graph at the bottom is written as f prime of x, where the mark over here is read aloud as prime. This graph on the bottom is called the derivative of the top graph. In other words, the function f prime is the derivative of the function f. When you see a prime symbol after a function, it means you're talking about the derivative of that function. Derivatives tell you how quickly functions are increasing or decreasing. Notice that f of x is increasing the fastest over here, and that's where f prime of x has the largest value. And places where f of x is decreasing, f prime of x is negative. Next, you'll get some more practice drawing derivatives. So here's an interactive where you can practice drawing derivatives. Up here is a function f of x, and down here you'll be sketching the function f prime of x, which is the derivative of f. To make your sketch, you can click down anywhere on this bottom graph and trace out different parts of the function. Wherever you click down, you'll see a line show up at the same x-coordinate on the top graph. The slope of this line is controlled by the y-coordinate in the bottom graph. So if you drag your sketch up, the slope of this line increases. And if you drag your sketch down, the slope of the line decreases. When this line is tangent to the curve, it'll turn green. So your goal here is to sketch a function down here whose y-coordinates are the slopes of the tangent lines for the top graph. In other words, you're sketching the derivative of the top graph. Let's get started on this one, making sure that the line at the top remains tangent to the curve, or green. When you think you've drawn the correct derivative, press the Check Answer button over here. The parts of the derivative you sketched correctly will be highlighted in green, like these parts, and any parts you need to fix will be highlighted in red, like these. Try fixing this sketch by dragging this function around so that the entire graph is correct. Nicely done. Try another example, but this time completely on your own.